Hey guys, welcome back to KSP. Previously, I've built a big ass cannon and shot a Kerbal and a car off, um, you know, down the runway. So, why not? Gun. I'm just gonna build a normal uh, daily American school supply. A gun. Right, so let's get going. Yeah, but first we have to build the bloody thing. And I just used fuel tanks as the body and some plates and what was it? Some engine casing or whatever you call it. And uh, yeah, we, we've got the rocket, biggest fucking rocket engine I could put on there as the, um, what a propellant. Uh, it, it works in the reverse order of a normal gun. But we're just gonna ignore that fact and we're gonna test shoot it the first time now. So yeah, the thing looks semi like a gun. I've put some shortcuts for the um, actual action and there we go. Let's be chill it. Uh, I kept the engine running. That was my mistake. But yeah, if you've noticed uh, and watched very closely, you could have seen that it only really fired off the heat shield <laughs> and it's very flexible. Yeah, it only really fired off the uh, heat shield. And we'll figure out later why, but uh, yeah, it was interesting, at, but at least it propelled something. So I thought turning the rocket uh, upside down might help, so that it drops down. I thought it just smashed into the, like, what's it called, the engine casing? I have no fucking clue. Yeah, no, it just blows up. It just blows up. So I wasn't quite sure what the um, reason was for it to blow up yet, but yeah, you saw the heat should fly off again. So this is the last... A real test shot before we actually before we actually um, you know, do some changes. But yeah, it's working quite well actually. Not gonna lie, the the heat shield goes miles. Well, that's not true, but it, it's it it has some power behind it. You can shoot a Kerbal down with it. Uh, oh, I was I was incorrect. There's actually one more test f uh, shot. Um, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, so this time I noticed that the thing immediately explodes when you fire it, and that's because it's like clipping in a barrel. Um, yeah, so this time I, I checked it with just disconnecting it from the um, disconnector, and um, yeah, yeah, it immediately <laughs> explodes. So it's a, it's not really the 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 firing itself that does it. It's just it's clipping for some reason. It's not a hollow mesh. So here you can see me doing some changes to it, and I'm actually building the barrel with some steel plates. It's <laughs> it took it took me some time, uh, but yeah, actually, uh, we'll we'll see how how it be, you know how well it worked. So yeah, this is our first test shot with the uh, the new barrel. Actually, I mean it's working. It's it's in one piece, but I think I extended the barrel a bit later. And I changed some things of the bullets. So yeah, now I figured out that I have to actually have the rocket firing for a bit longer than a millisecond. Uh, <laughs> so it isn't only the initial propulsion; it's um, yeah, it's down the barrel as well. So yeah, it has some reach. So yeah, I think I extended the barrel a bit and did some changes to the bullet. We'll see how it worked out. So, so I just let it. Yeah, this time I just put on a uh, fucking rocket booster. Yeah, and it just slings around like crazy. But um, yeah, it doesn't really extend the range. <laughs> so later on, I added some uh, stabilizers, and it's, it's turning more into a rocket gun. Um, <laughs> but that's fine, I guess. Uh, it exists. Oh shit. Uh, yeah. So this happened as well. I mean, we hit. We actually hit something. It, 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 it's something <laughs> but yeah I mean it's functioning and, and uh, yeah we're gonna make it fly that's right we're gonna make it fly this thing is going up into the air and shoot so there we go this is our first test launch <laughs> yeah the, so the landing gear was a bit small and just fucking exploded in it so I put on some bigger landing gear and you know it's just running down the um What's it called? The the, the 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 landing strip? Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, you'll you'll find out soon that something was wrong about this design. But it, you know, in the end, you'll be surprised. Anyways, there we go. We're a bit top heavy and we explode in two thousand pieces. Anyways, small changes to the design. Um, <laughs> some bigger wings on the front. Uh, those are rudders, I think, but um, yeah, I've, I've turned them into elevators, and yeah, you see the, the weight balance is a bit mm, 
not there. There's no balance, really. And I've put on a second engine. Because I want some extra thrust. I hope that that would work. And yeah, if you notice, the, um, the front elevators are gone. Uh, it's still a bit heavy on the, <laughs> on the rear. So it's still not working. And yeah, that's my fix. And I... I don't know, for some reason I quite like the design actually, I have no idea what's, what, what, yeah, yeah, so I'll put some landing gear in there, anyways, yeah, no, I quite like the design actually, and yeah, no, let's see how far we can get, and look at that, it's, it's quite stable, I'm surprised how stable this thing is, and, uh, yeah, it, it's, it, it has some drag on one side, so it just turns to one side, and just fired off the gun, but yeah, for some reason, um, I had some drag, and it was pulling it to one side, uh, for some reason, I'm saying, like, it's not a big fucking obvious thing that this thing is an absolute horrible design for an aircraft. Uh, but it's not an aircraft, it's a flying gun. It's more of a cannon, uh, if you take the size into account. But... <laughs> Yeah, so I, I tried to fix the drag problem, I did some different things, made the tail longer. Uh, in the end, I just gave up and uh, we had one successful test flight. <laughs> that was it, but thanks for watching, guys.